ericmwathethmother.com. Now, if you take a look at Investopedia, when you are just beginning to learn about technical analysis and you're trying to understand what the relative strength index is, one of the things you really come across initially in your study about technical analysis is this idea that anything above 70 is supposed to be overbought and anything under a reading of 30 is supposed to be oversold. Now, the implications are profound, and they do set you up for failure. So, for example, here we can see anything above 70 pretty much is going to tell you it's time to get out. It's going to put you on your pretty much on your toes. You'd be very panicky whenever an instrument you are owning is trading above 70. Now, I got to tell you, I don't know where they get that concept from, even though there's some, of course, validity. But this concept, in my opinion, is absolutely wrong. And it is very easy to prove that. In fact, I teach that the number is not 70, even though this was always a rough estimate. The correct number is 69.1. And I'll provide a link in the description of the video explaining why I get this number. And you can see in this particular example, in this instrument, this is all data. Once it moved above 70, but more precisely, once it moved above 69.1, which is here, the stock would move let's call it in the about $22 and still recording higher highs with the current high being around 60. You'll notice all of this, all of this move, the entire move has come while the stock has been trading above 69.1 and this is why I teach based on my research and it's very easy to prove as this one example shows actually when stocks move above 69.1 this is the sweet spot this is where you find momentum this is where you can see a major return in an instrument so instead of looking at this as being oversold excuse me being overbought what this means it is the exact opposite when a stock moves above 69.1, what that is telling you is that the stock is in extreme demand. And one can say actually, what it says in, in actuality is that once it moves above this level here, it is actually under owned or under bought. And you can see the consequence of staying with an instrument that is trading above 69.1 is you get a chance to be part of this fantastic run. So be careful with the definitions of the RSI out there. In my opinion, they are simply wrong. Eric Moadith, mother, as always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I see, S.